What's up, Earth Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, LaRellSmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage the cards for the Earth Gods, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what's going down for the 15th through the 16th. Every motherfucking vibe up in this bitch. Yes, honey, yes. You already know how I do. I get the Romance Angels. I pick three cards from there. And then once from there, we open up with advice cards. And then we'll see what the messages from Tarot and possible outcomes. So let's see what's going down. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we have for the day, baby. Getting to know you. So getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. All right, Earth Signs. So some of you all could be deepening your bond with this person. You might also have a little bit of romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, a lot of you guys might be getting to know someone that you might have romantic feelings for. And I also have here, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give the receipt and receive the highest energy of all earth signs. So keep in mind, time could be fluid. People change, their patterns change, okay, and so do the cars. So this could be, you know, a message for you for two weeks later on down the line. But I feel there is something saying, you know, use your value ship in yourself because your heart's ready. All right, but some people may not be ready. So let's see what It's Safe for You to Love is all about, because I'm curious now. Here we go. I'm not trying to be fresh. Okay. Here we go. Awaiting results. So it's saying that there's some patience or there's some time that you're waiting. Okay, there could be some things that you're needing to move. Uh, some of you all might need to make some roots elsewhere. Start some new roots and some new growth elsewhere. Okay. But I feel there's uh, something that you're waiting for. You could be waiting for love. Waiting for a new person to come in. Waiting for a new movement. Okay. Somebody could be refusing to see some things here as well. For some of you earth signs, okay, you could be making that hard head, make a soft ass, okay? I know y'all know that saying. So let's see what getting to know each other is all about. Manifest. So some of you all could have manifested this person or coming into some sort of manifestation. Um, I feel like uh, it's saying... You might have to choose your battles, okay, because you all are getting to know each other anyway. Could be a few people that you're dealing with that might be bringing in some challenging times or, um, you know, deepening some bonds with these uh, battles. Okay, could have been that you manifested this person, but there's definitely some sort of conversation or confrontation that you need to have. But I'm also seeing with um, romantic feelings. Um, some of y'all could be dealing with someone that you need to listen. You might need to listen to those romantic feelings. 
Okay, might need to open your ears. This person might need to open up their ears. But there's definitely something that could be challenging that you're rebuilding with your romantic feelings, okay? Or that you're bringing together with the passion that you guys have for each other. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Here we go, babies. It's safe for you to love. Knight of Wands in reverse. Also, Eight of Wands. Okay. So, someone is called to do some sort of action here. Um, I feel with the uh, Knight of Wands and also with the Eight of Wands, there's communication. Okay, there's going to be communication. Could be some of you all are just taking care of your practical matters here, King of Pentacles. But with this Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, I'm seeing there's some sort of message that could be coming through. But someone's just not, you know, really willing to make an action. Also could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like there's some sort of connection or a union ship coming in for some of you guys. Two of Cups. Or it just could be a soulmate. Um that you're dealing with that's kind of just you feel like they're awaiting or they hang they're hanging around with the hangman energy here okay uh so some of you all could be dealing with someone who's trying to let go of a lot of emotions you could have felt lost out on this person you know feeling like you had to turn your back on them or you know someone was unbeknownst to you um, doing some things that you weren't too really proud of. Okay, it could be it could have uh, kept you up at nighttime. Also, could have kept you feeling like you weren't in the knowing. Okay, um, I do feel with um, for some of you all getting to know each other. It could be that you're opening up these portals of how you're seeing your bond deepen with each other. Could be some messages, some things coming out of. Uh, the unknown being revealed here. Possible Pisces, also Gemini. Okay, could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Definitely an, uh, a uh, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Some of you all could be dealing with someone who's not really um, satisfied, okay? They're not really planning their options. They're not really understanding a value ship here within the relationship. Um, I do feel it could be possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a lot of uh, fire energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of court cards. So this is some sort of new beginning here that you're getting clarity with this person or you're needing some sort of clarity uh, between their emotions. Could be with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Christ, Scorpio here. These two are definitely here. But someone's having some uh, emotional instability here. Okay, but someone's being creative and wanting to start something. But this person just kind of like holding back. So with this romantic feelings, you have the Ace of Cups. Wow. Also Ace of Wands. Okay. So there's a lot of offers here on the table with this romantic feelings. Um, some of you all definitely have some options to think about or someone is thinking about some sort of options or a new beginning or um, someone is really wanting to turn down these offers or these new beginnings. Um, it could be because you want a fresh, fresh start. Okay, someone wants to start over here. Um, but there's someone who's really involved in their work or someone's just progressing in their work. But I feel like uh, there could be some sort of children or um, someone from the past. Definitely a lot of memories with each other. Or memories that you've exchanged between each other could be children involved as well. 
uh, but I'm definitely seeing a new beginning here that you're wanting in these romantic feelings, okay? Could be with somebody that um, offered you some sort of new passion, a new beginning, some communication here as well. Justice energy. Could be dealing with a Libra, someone arising, your someone arising. But I feel someone, yeah, definitely, they want communication. There's going to be some sort of communication within these romantic feelings, okay? So let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. Possible outcomes. Ten of Swords. So there could be an ending here that brings in this new beginning, okay? Two of Pentacles right next to it. So I feel like someone is definitely, like, just... Put a uh, final knife down and was like, fuck it. I just, enough is enough, okay? Um, so we're going to figure this out. We're going to try to do two different things at once. We're going to try to, you know, let go of the past, not be so assertive, and, you know, just let things be free with this uh, full energy here. Um, some of you guys are definitely letting go temperance energy, four of pentacles. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarian energy, definitely a lot of fire, water energy here. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing with some of this, there's a new beginning. Okay. But be aware of this energy, definitely some sort of new beginning. Okay. Usually when you get the 10 of swords. There's going to be some other tens that'll pop out. So with the Ten of Swords, there's always an ending. It becomes a new beginning. Ten of Pentacle energy here. Okay, so some of y'all could be dealing with a home situation, stability, um, completion, completing a home. You're going to be getting some sort of wish fulfillment here. There's going to be a lot of love in these next couple of days. Um, you know, just in this overall energy, that there is happiness and wish fulfillment coming your way. Okay, but be aware of some tricky energy of someone who's utilizing healing or letting go um, as a way to like not make an action or not draw forward movement towards you. Okay, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Queen of Cups, also Knight of Cups. So you guys could be dealing with someone who's closed himself off, but there's definitely some emotion here. That someone has romantic feelings for it, but some of you all could cut a connection off. There could have been some distance as well, but it's still like this uh, energy that's in the environment. Um, but I'm feeling like with the ten of um, the ten of swords, and then when the ten of pentacles comes, there could be just a sudden change with this tower energy. Okay, it could be that someone's kind of moving a little slower than you thought. But with that tower energy, there is somebody who wants a sudden change. Okay, they could be spying as well. The spying card has been coming out in all of the readings. All right, page of swords could be on your social media page. Things of that nature. All right. But you guys definitely have some sort of change that's coming here. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of endings, a lot of ending of cycles that come into new beginnings. You also could be just wanting to expand out, you know, looking out, surveying what's going on, okay? Because um, I feel like it's um, a lot of things that you're going to be ending, but there could be new beginnings, truths that are coming in later on down the line, okay? All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. If you need to get a personal read, Hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRosaMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.